Hello and what's up everyone out there, my name is Silver War, Silver for short, and welcome back to some more Warframe. Now, last time we did the Operation Buried Depths, which is finding scan and data hashes. So, let's check the progress. As you can see, it's now past 50% for all of them. Which I find really, really nice. So, thank you all, all for helping out. I really... At the end of the video, I'll show you a little something involving the Buried Depths, but that's not what this video is about. This video will be about the Termia factors. Termia. Apologies. Uh, so, there'll be a double credits of resources from Orb Bellas missions, so basically, uh, I'll find a squad to do the Termia factors with, and I'll be right back with you guys. So. Again, give me a moment, and I'll be right back. Two thousand years later. All right, getting into a squad. Now there will be certain enemies that follow this giant orb, the exploit orb. Now basically, those enemies will drop the. Okay, no, no, no. They'll drop the these things, which is the coolant. That's exactly what you need to seal the thermal factor. So. Once you defeat those enemies, they are called coolant Rachnoids. Rachnoids. Yep. Basically, giant spiders. So. Ready? Drop that refined coolant into that fracture to get the party started. So you can grab a coolant and place it down here. Protect the canister. And we have enemy thing coming now. On the top left, you can see that fracture thing process. Once it reaches 100, you well, it'll be done. So basically just keep it safe until then. And Big Mama Spider is on the way. We are in trouble. A few moments later. We have one squad member leaving and going. And another one coming. Oh dear, we're in trouble. Oh dear, oh dear, oh jackal, jackal, jackal. I know I'm using Peacekeeper too often. Ah, uh, oh yeah, here it is. The Coolant Rachnoid. What I just killed, that's the new enemy that falls. That's the new enemy that falls, uh, giant. Whatchamacallit? Exploiter Orb. And. You kill it, it'll drop the Coolant. Simple. It's just that easy. And if you see, they're everywhere. But I don't know how long they'll st stick around, so I'll... If I were you, I'll be scanning them as much as possible. Because... Who doesn't like scanning stuff? I apologize for using Peacekeeper too much, but... With everything that's going on, I... I'm not taking any chances. I'm just killing as fast as I can, as efficient as I can. Oh, good. That's not cooling. So, you'll never run out of coolant, to be honest. Because, well, enough said. Like, look, there's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 nearby. So you just repeat this process multiple times to gain points. If you use the same coolant on four different uh whatchamacallit? Thermal fractures, 
then you get a point bonus. So in one factor gives you one point. Using the same coolant to seal. About these fractures, we'll do it for him. If you seal four fractures with, with the same coolant, well, well, you get a point bonus. You get seven points. So basically, you just see routine just over and over and over and over, and eventually, well, you eventually get what you want, which is the reward. So, but it's kind of hard to do this alone, to be honest. The enemies are pretty strong. And, well, for that reason, it's the reason why I brought Mesa. Because she's really good at crowd control and long distance. She's really strong. I see why people love using her as a main. Ow! I see why people love using her as a as their main uh, warframe. Not just because of Peacemaker, but because of her other skills. But all in all, I still think she's pretty amazing. A few moments later. All right, canister. we got a canister. Do I still have it? Yes, I do. Now, now to find another fracture. Let's see, you know, team me. I did not mean to do that. Okay, fracture, fracture, fracture. How much gotta be finding a fracture to steal? Okay, if you found one, I'm on my way. If Neff won't do anything about these fractures, we'll do it for him. Let's get this fracture sealed. So we've done two fractures so far. Keep him off the canister while it does its thing. So Simple mobile defense slash defense mission. It's not that hard. So, just keep repeating the same process over and over, and you eventually, well, you eventually accumulate points and get the rewards. A few moments later. Alright, this will be number four, and it's a. Whoa, where you come from? Okay, so this will be the last, the very last one for this cooling canister before it breaks. So, there is a reason for doing this. You'll get a special item, resource that I'll show you later once I'm done with this. So, I might do multiple runs. Just so I don't have to do it later. And yes, you don't have to do it only once. You can keep going and going until it drops. Though I recommend you don't do so many at once. Because otherwise you'll get overwhelmed. Pretty easy. A few moments later. And there it is. Diluted Thermia. So we don't really know what it's for at it, for the time being. But for in case. Well, in the future you'll get, you well, get something, you might as well just hang on to it. And it's, well, that simple. A few moments later. Excuse any like that you guys may see here, but anyway, this is a location I talked about involving Operation Brewery Death. 
So right here is on the map, right between this large thing, right here. So yeah. So just hop in. Again, a thousand apologies for any lag that you guys may experience. Uh, did I just hear some enemies? Yes, I did. Wow, it's really laggy. But anyway, just run over here and... I was afraid of this. The words open this gateway. This gateway leads to... No! They wait for us. Some debts can never be paid. Some debts... We are too small to collect. Zood. Zood. Sparky. Those glyphs you uncovered are the key to opening this gateway. Uh, yeah, so those glyphs are basically what you need to unlock this. Yeah, as you can see, these are the very code things that you need to use to unlock. And uh, I don't, there isn't any code right now because we haven't completed Operation Brutal Depths. But here is the end point of it. So apologies for not like showing this in the last video because I was lost for hours and I couldn't find it. But here it is, the final end point for Operation Blue Devs, at least I think it is. But yeah, pretty much. And just like that, you can easily get the Blue Devs emblem, which is the first reward after getting 5 points. It's very easy. So accumulate it over and over and you'll eventually get all the rewards. It's not that hard, it's very simple. So just keep going and going. Try and do this quickly because we've only got about 8 to 9 days left. So if you aren't able to complete it, you'll miss out on all the rewards which is uh, the special amalgam mods, the Blue Death Sigil, the Blue Death Emblem, and the Opticor Vandal. And to my knowledge, the Opticor Vandal is a completely new weapon to me, and to be honest, I don't really have very good experience or memories with it, with the Opticor. But we'll see. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you do, smash that like button. Let me know you enjoy, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Take care, and... Bye-bye.